is brought to you by The Heartbreakers by Ali Novak. And The Heartbreakers is about a girl named Stella whose sister Kara has been diagnosed with leukemia. For Kara's birthday, she decides to stand in line for four hours to get an autographed CD of Kara's favorite band. The Heartbreakers also happen to be Stella's least favorite band, and while she's in line at Starbucks waiting to get a coffee, she meets a really cute boy and spends time talking to him about how much she hates this band. Cute boy is the lead singer. Of course. He gives her his number anyway, and the two of them start to pursue a relationship, and Stella has to decide if she's going to resent him for taking her attention away from her sister when she's possibly dying, or if she's going to let him encourage her to live her own life. So that's The Heartbreakers by Ali Novak, coming August 4th, wherever books are sold. Hey, it's Swapna, and I'm over here again from Panels, and that's panels.net, Book Riot's sister site that is all about comics. Today I want to talk about Marvel Comics, and specifically the ladies of Marvel Comics. Uh, Marvel, over the past couple of years, has added so many lady solo series to its roster. It's so exciting to see how many lady-led comics they have. Now, you've probably heard a lot about, say, Captain Marvel because of Kelly Sue DeConnick, who's also pictured on my shirt, or say, uh, the new Thor, who is a lady. And while I love both of those comics, those aren't the best places to start if you're looking to just get into Marvel comics and you're not really super familiar with the larger universe. So with that in mind, um, I wanted to recommend a few great places to start with the Marvel universe. Um, through the kick-ass ladies of Marvel Comics. First, I wanna talk about Storm by Victor Ibanez and Greg Pak. Now, if you've seen the X-Men movies, you're probably familiar with Storm. She was played by Halle Berry uh, quite ineffectively, I must say. But Storm is such a beautiful, kick-ass, strong woman. I can't even begin to describe how awesome she is. And this is her solo series. Um, it's ended now, so you can actually pick up. The first two trades are available, and the end of the series is still in issues. Trades should be coming out soon, so you'll be able to get the read the whole series from beginning to end without having to wait for the next issue. So this is the first volume. It's called Make It Rain. And it is just, I can't begin to describe how awesome it is. It takes Storm out of her adventures with the X-Men. It tells her stories, her inner struggles, what she deals with, what she fears. The art is just breathtaking. If you, you know, if you look, look, I mean, just I mean, look at her. She's got a mohawk. I mean, really, like, I mean, in this comment, she basically just travels the world and kicks people's asses like that is what she does and you know it does tie into the larger marvel universe there are going to be a few things here and there that reference events for example the death of wolverine that's not really a spoiler alert because that happened a while ago that happens during this first trade so you know she's dealing with that aftermath because at that point in uh comic book history um storm and wolverine were a couple so but it's really well done it's the art is superb, and Pac does a great job, you know, writing this strong, confident woman. And if you are interested, Greg Pac will be at Book Riot Live, our in-person event, November 7th and 8th in New York. Um, so you should come to the event, check him out, and check out this amazing comic. I'm not going to even talk about this for very long, because I feel like all I talk about is Ms. Marvel, and for a very good reason. She's awesome. She's a teenager. She fights crime. I mean, this is, she's Kamala Khan. There's really nothing else to say, so I'm going to leave it at that. All right, next I'm going to talk about Black Widow. Um, this is by Phil Noto and Nathan Edmondson, and much like the Storm series, this is also finished. So uh, the last issue just came out. It's not out in trades yet, but uh, the first two trades are out. Um, I believe the third trade is either already out or out very soon, and so you can also Another series you can read from beginning to end. So if you watch the Marvel movies, you know who Natasha Romanoff is. You're familiar with her. So what does the series do? Well, this takes her out of the Avengers and puts her on her own. If you've ever been curious about that red in Natasha's ledger that she always talks about in the movies, well, this is where you need to come. So here's the first two volumes. They're beautifully, I mean, I can't, these, this art in this, it's just, it's so, so beautiful. And... I love how the sense of obligation and the sense of, you know, loyalty that Natasha has, 
she, it weaves in her previous relationships with other characters in the Marvel Universe. But even if you had no idea they were together, you can feel the tension, you can feel the loss, you can feel... like This, this is a comic that really makes you feel things, and I absolutely love it. And what's more, um, there's a Black Widow YA novel coming out, I believe it's in October, um, from Marvel, and this is by Margaret Stoll, whose name you'll recognize if you're familiar with, you know, the YA-verse, but it's a YA novel um, featuring Black Widow Natasha Romanoff. So you can read this, and then you can look forward to this, and then you can wait, because there is going to be a Black Widow solo movie one day. Through sheer force of will, I will make this happen. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl by Ryan Q. North and Erica Henderson. And okay, I can't start, even start to talk about this comic without smiling because it is so adorable. So the premise of this comic is Squirrel Girl, her name is Doreen, and she has uh, amazing superpowers and also an affinity with squirrels. She goes around and solves problems and does all of this incredible stuff. She's also in college. She makes friends at school. The humor in this is just amazing. It's it's a comic. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It pokes fun at everything. And for example, there's this one point where Doreen steals Iron Man's suit and there are shenanigans. It is just so much fun. Like that's really the best word to describe. the. I mean, it's, it's a comic called The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. It's so fun. You don't really need to know anything about the Marvel Universe to enjoy this. It, uh, it's just, it's funny, it's whimsical, and Doreen, I love the way she's portrayed. She's not a stick-thin, you know, supermodel-esque superhero. She is drawn as a more full-figured woman, and it's so great. I absolutely love Squirrel Girl. I love her attitude. Um, this was the one comic on panels when Marvel announced their new titles for the fall, there was no squirrel girl on, girl on the list. And this is the one comic that everybody behind the scenes at panels and so much of our audience were like, where is Squirrel Girl? We love Squirrel Girl. Where is she? But luckily the series is getting relaunched. Uh, so it's currently the first iteration of the series. Comics is complicated. So just take my word on this. Uh, the first iteration of the series is currently going on now. The first trade is going to be out soon. Right now it's just in issues, but I'll put a link to the first trade in the show notes. So if you're watching this somewhere other than YouTube, if you click through to YouTube, you'll be able to see the link to the trade. Um, but it's going to be relaunched as well. So you don't have to worry if you fall in love with the Doreen, as all of us have. Um, there will be very much more where that came from. So there you have it. Those are just a few of the kick-ass women at Marvel. There are so many more uh, lovely ladies at Marvel that I really enjoy reading and that I love discussing. You know, it's been such a boon to be a female comics lover right now, and my only hope is that maybe Marvel will put more ladies writing and drawing the lady-led titles. Definitely pick up these comics. They're Awesome. And if you haven't visited us over at Panels, come over. We're at panels.net. You can find us at Hey Panels on Twitter, or you can get me, uh, S. Krishna, on Twitter. I'm Swapna. I'm the managing editor over there, and um, I would love to hear from you.